Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. Jennifer Lopez runs errands in LA after PDA field reunion with estranged husband Ben Affleck. Lizzo slams Ozempic accusations after showing off weight loss transformation. Paralympian Ellie Simmons launches clothing range. And Paris Hilton parties in sheer black velvet dress for Nicole Richie's birthday. And on our trending segment, amid the ongoing controversy regarding the Edo State's mm. gubernatorial elections, Nigerian singer Cynthia Morgan has called out David O over his stance on the elections. On Sunday, she took to her Instagram story saying, if you know me, you would know I am very apolitical, but this Davido is more annoying than I thought. Morgan's post comes after Davido called the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, out on X and expressed his concern over the elections. When many X users voiced their confusion regarding his interest in the election, Davido then clarified that stemmed from his late mother's heritage. Girl, hmm. Cynthia Morgan, where have you been? I know, she always just pops out and goes back in. Pops out and does something yeah. crazy and goes back in or yeah. cuts somebody out or <laughs> goes off on somebody. It's always something like that. Yeah, and then with David o on this election matter, you know, it's crazy how if a celebrity comes out and talks and they say, okay, eh, you didn't talk, oh, they're having elections, you didn't talk. Yeah. Now a celebrity is coming out to talk. You guys are still, you know, bashing him and saying, oh, because he doesn't favor you, oh, because it's, you know, it's, it's just crazy. And then Cynthia, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just laughing, sorry. <laughs> the beef that she has with you know david o and she's every bitter. other artist yeah she's i think really i think bitter. she has issues i don't know you know since Mor sorry you know yeah. since morgan mm -hmm. came out very long time ago and she blew yeah and you know that hatred and that bitterness and i feel like she just i don't know she's not happy with herself mm -hmm. she has to come out and lash at people mm -hmm. i feel like she has so much talent that she could have came out mm -hmm. revamped herself and mm -hmm. done something greater now because she was the only one reigning back there remember mm -hmm. So now that she's coming out only time when to blast people and talk about people, I don't understand what's going on with her. I really and that's don't. why I always say healing is actually very yes, important yes. in any process in your life, whether it's heartbreak or yes. or work break, whatever. Yes. You need to heal properly. If you if you're not healed, you would always be resentful towards people, yes, whether yes. they affect your matter or not. So Definitely. I think it's just healing. She really needs to heal. Yeah. Maybe see a therapist or something. Yeah, yeah. Cynthia, yeah. therapist mm. will do you very well. <laughs> And on our sports segment, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez kept busy on Saturday by running errands in Beverly Hills, California, one week after she was spotted kissing her estranged husband, Ben Affleck, during an outing with him and four of their children. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, Affleck was spotted dropping off son Samuel at ex-wife Jennifer Garner's house after she made a pit stop at the actor's residence. All of these Saturday sightings comes one week after Lopez and Affleck were spotted on a brunch outing with the children at the Beverly Hills Hotel Polo Lounge. Girl. These two, these two, they will not, they are confusing me. I don't know. Are you guys, what is going are on? Are you doing, are you not doing? I do understand me and I keep saying it every time we talk about Ben Affleck and Jennifer. Are you guys back together? Because I feel like this relationship has spanned over the years. Yes. I know being married, coming back, it's not easy to let go, to yes, be honest. Definitely. This whole thing of, you know, when your ex, you and your ex have spent years yeah. together, it's always very hard to let go yeah. so i think that's what's happening between you know jennifer and ben but then but then again i don't do you understand <laughs> like then again this whole divorce like maybe they shouldn't have come out in public they should just try to resolve the whole matter yes. before putting out out in public yes. knowing that fully well that they will get back together again yes. and start you know making all these public appearances yes. so what do you think i agree with you a hundred percent because you know what now that you've invited us into your into matter, your matter. So for any time that they step <laughs> out now everybody's eyes is on them <gasps> right so it doesn't, I don't and know. And I love I them together. Know. Remember, yeah, you said you love them do. together yeah, too. Yeah, I actually do. Oh, Jennifer, uh, yeah, Ben I just, Affleck, I don't yeah. know what y'all have going on. <laughs> exactly. <have> get, <laughs> get back, I beg. You know, there's no need for divorce. Stop all this whole divorce thing. And Jennifer, you've tried. You've, you know, been in this whole marriage thing for a long yeah. time. Just, just stay. Just stay. So, you know, just stay. <laughs> yeah. And on to our editorial segment, Lizzo clapped back at an online user who accused her of using Ozempic to lose weight. After a fan commented, did she use Ozempic or did she snort C-O-K-E on the singer's Instagram post on Thursday, the Grammy winner responded with a question of her own, why do you follow me? She replied Friday, along with a series of crying face emojis. In an Instagram post, the singer poked fun at the Ozempic allegations with a cheeky video in which she rocked a red silk bat robe and styled her braids in a low ponytail. When you finally get Ozempic allegations after five months of weight training and calorie deficit, the Grammy winner wrote over the second slide. Soon after, she slammed the online user, 
many of Lizzo's followers took to the comments to applaud her for defending herself. So I think it's actually very, very painful when you put in all the work to lose your weight. Yes. And then somebody from someone will start telling you, oh, you took injections, you did all this. What do you think? Do you think she used those things? I don't think it's she really did. I don't, I don't think she did. I don't think she did. For her to come out this bold, and then people could see the process, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Maybe she did. Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't think she did. But there's do you a, think she did? Well, there's a certain look when you're using Ozempic. We yeah. talked about this before. Yeah. She has that little skinny mm -hmm. face. You look like a but skeleton. she doesn't have that. She doesn't have know. that. She looks okay. She and looks actually, okay. And you know what? I saw videos mm -hmm. of her actually working out. That's so what I'm saying. There's a process. Out. Yeah. Oh. There's a process mm -hmm. video to it. So I don't think she did that, actually. This she looks okay. She looks, you know, that skinny, very dry look. She doesn't have she doesn't it have yet. It. Yeah. She still has some yeah. flesh and, you know, some, yeah. My body still <laughs> this Ozempic <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> that Ozempic pandemic. I wish I could get on there. Okay. I really yeah. want to get on it. But you know Why? what I heard? I heard that after you use it, you mm -hmm. have to use it for a life because after you stop using it, you gain all the weight back and more. You don't, you don't need it. Yeah. You, don't, you look okay. Yeah. Please don't don't do it because I don't girl. know. It just makes them look like dry bones. Yeah. And all of that. I don't Unhealthy. really like it. Mm. Unless maybe they're not limiting the way they use it. I don't know. I don't know how the thing works. I haven't really made inquiries for Ozempic, but I mean, there's an Ozempic. Pandemic, pandemic out there. Every, <laughs> like literally every celebrity out there is using Ozempic right mm. now to lose weight. And you know what people are saying? Mm -hmm. They're saying that this Ozempic, that people that actually need the Ozempic, which is the yeah. diabetes mm -hmm. patient, they are, it's a it's a lack of it now because so would of you everybody. Say, would you call it an it. abuse? I think it's an abuse. Ozempic abuse, right? I think right? it's an abuse, yeah. Definitely. It's crazy. Because people that actually need it, yeah. it's not don't available for them anymore. To, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Uh, is it expensive? Do it's you very, know? It's like $600 for a shot. For so, a shot, So you take yeah. a shot once every week. So it's like one month. Once is, every week? Once every week, yes. For how long? Is there a duration for it? So you buy a month's worth. You take it once every week. Oh. But you have to keep on. If not, you're gonna gain all that weight back and more. That's crazy. Yeah, mm. I, I ain't doing Zempi. Are you gonna do Zempi? No, girl. <laughs> I don't want to look old. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on our new collection, ex-Paralympic swimmer Ellie Simmons has helped to launch a new fashion label for people five foot tall and under. The former Strictly star said she had been inspired to act after struggling to find clothes to fit off the rack for her fourth feet frame. She has now teamed up with designer and founder Chamia Dewey to make people who are extra petite feel seen and have an easier option when buying clothes. The brand's first collection will be an athleisure range with 16 women's wear pieces and six unisex styles. The initiative also included the commissioning of what we believe to be the world's first five foot and under mannequins, which will be used to display the collection in shops. Finally, hope for short people. Yes. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, forgive me. I didn't mean to be I've never rude. seen a five foot. Yeah, mannequin before. I mean that's that's crazy. <laughs> but I like how creative the fashion industry is yes. now. People mm -hmm. are coming up with different ideas, different things to fit into everyone's prescription. I love it. I have. I'm happy that you know there's no longer. Oh, she's too tall. Oh, she's too short. Yes. Oh, she's too big. Oh, she's. Yes. There is, you know, clothes for everybody out there now. Yes. For whatever size you're in, whatever height you're in, I really love that the fashion yes, industry is doing yes, all of that. Yes, it's evolving. Mm -hmm. It's really <laughs> evolving, yeah. And on Spicy or Not, Nicole Richie celebrated her 43rd birthday this weekend with a group of famous friends that included sister Sophia Richie, Cleo Wade, stylist Jamie Mizrahi, and of course, BFF Paris Hilton. For the occasion, which Richie dubbed Virgo Fest, Hilton chose a black velvet and mesh fleur de mal dress that showed off her curves. The look which Hilton paired with a black beaded choker necklace features velvet panels across the chest and down the front and back, covering up all the right areas while leaving some exposed. Hilton added to her own signature fingerless elbow length velvet gloves. Paris Hilton does no wrong. Mm -hmm. It's what did she used to say? They had a little saying back in the days. I, I can't even remember. That's hot. Uh, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> She's such a girly girl. I, love I really her. like her. Yeah, and I think her style is very unique. Yeah, and I think people generally just love Paris. It's like anything she puts on, everybody just loves yes. it. You know, she yes. can do no wrong in you know our eyes. And this look is actually really good. It's giving yes. sexy. It's yes. giving elegant. Yes. It's giving Paris Hilton. Yes, you know she's a mother. Mm -hmm. and she looks she, really really yeah. good. Yeah, she does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye.